everyone. Hello. Um, thanks for joining me again. I was supposed to be on the river this evening, but it's up two feet and it's the colour of Willy Wonka's Chocolate River. So um, I've got to film my time somehow. So I thought I'd do a little video of what I've got in my waistcoat for the summer. I have different configurations throughout the year for my river fishing stuff. But uh, in the summer I carry quite a lot of gear, so I use a waistcoat. Um, this is the Witchwood one. It's uh, got plenty of space and pockets. I'll start with the back. So you'll see I've got a, a zinger type attachment on the D-ring here. And basically I clip my net onto this. And I've got two different types of nets. I have a, a, a normal pan net if you like, which I use in fast running water. And I have um, Glen Poynton's floating net, which I use on the chalk streams. Uh, also in the back, I have a spare reel. This is a lighter reel, it's a weight forward three line, uh, that geared up to take really light tippet for fishing um, small dry flies. So I have that in the back. Uh, there is another pouch if I wanted to keep something, and there's a larger pouch which I sometimes pack away a, a packable waterproof jacket, but very rarely I must say. So if I turn it round, the front of the jacket, it's got bits and bobs hanging off it, so I'm not going to take this off, but it's basically a rod holder. It's it's from Smith Creek, and if you need both hands free, you click your rod into here, and it'll quite happily sit while you're fiddling about with tippets, fish, whatever the case may be. So the other thing I have is um, the CNF design fly dry. A lot of people prefer the Amadou patches, but I find I go through them quite quickly, whereas this lasts quite well. I really like that. Set of good good snips. These are the Orvis ones. They're pretty decent. Also, I've got some floating powder, which is, this is the Hunt's original stuff, which I haven't found anything any better anywhere else. Just pop that back in. And, of course, the Hunt's version of Gink, really, uh, up high it's called, it's very similar qualities to Gink in the other side. Okay, so that's the bits that are hanging off the edges. Inside the pouches, in this pouch I keep a couple of bits and bobs. So this is a neon wax, and basically what I do with my French leader, I just colour up the ends, just so I can see it better when I'm nymphing. Uh, I also have a little box here, and what I've got in here is, is a, what, what in America they call it a bobbomy jig, but it's what I have is a homemade version, which is a lump of foam with uh, two little bits on the end, so I can sight fish nymphs at distance. I don't do it very often, that's why uh, it tends to stay in this little box, but it's there if I need it. Uh, then, working into these other pouches, I've got dry fly boxes, a kind of working box if you like, and if I go across to the other side, more flies, because you can never have enough flies, and again, I'm pretty loaded up with various boxes of flies. If I move down into the uh, the lower pouches, in this side I've got um, various tippets. So on the right hand side I keep all my tippets. This is the Hanak fluorocarbon, um, 10 and 11. I quite like that. I also use, for most of my fishing now actually, I use this ghost mode. Um, it's four pounds, it's, it's quite supple and it's, I really like it for nymph fishing. And last but not least is all my other bits and bobs. I've got tip it down to 0 0.08 and I quite like the Solderini stuff, although this is on the expensive side for me and I only really use it when I'm match fishing. So that's the tippets. If I go to the other side, there's nothing in these little front pouches here. Uh, they are currently empty. 
on this side I've got some mud this is the hunt's mud um, the thing I like about this is uh, regardless of how long you leave it or if you leave it in the garage or in the house the mud never seems to dry out and I really like that all the other muds I've tried in the past are, um, are nowhere near as good as this and on the other side I've got some green muslin and what I use this for is if I'm dry fly fishing I like to just give the end of my floating line and the top part of my tapered leader a little treatment with this just to keep it riding high in the water so inside the left hand pouch I keep my uh, waterproof camera this is an Olympus Tough so all the images you see on the blog um, various pictures that I post on Facebook it's generally taken with this camera here uh, it's waterproof and shockproof so I'm not worried about it getting knocked about in the waistcoat or on the river also in this pouch I keep a pair of uh, forceps now I fish entirely barbless now but very occasionally a fish will take a, a dry, especially dry flies, small dry flies they'll take them down really deep and uh, these are just ideal for getting the fly out of the fish so there's one last little pouch I've got here and what I keep in this is very seldom seldom used kits so inside this there's a little glasses cleaner if you should need it it comes with a waistcoat it's attached uh, I keep a couple of cable ties just for emergencies in case my net fails and I've got to attach it some other way a couple of small cable ties again some sight, sight bobs again I, I really use them if I'm going to do that kind of fishing I tend to use a fly rather than uh, use these pre-made sighters um, I also keep some spare tippet rings and this is a, this is a good little tip uh, my friend Graham Lumsden put me onto this because I was having so much trouble um, having to replace tippet rings so what I do is I use some of this high vis orange and attach the tippet ring to the end so if I happen to lose one and it is a rare thing but if I do uh, I'm able to change it quickly uh, just taking one of these out the packet so the tippet rings just come in these little packs and when you buy the river there can be a real problem getting uh, getting them attached to the line again so you use that you tie it onto your tapered leader and once it's tight you just snip away that orange bit and you're back in business so uh, that's what's in my waistcoat um, as I say as is as the season wears on I tend to sort of cut my kit down to very little and I end up with like a, a small very small chest pack for for grayling fishing but in the summer when there's lots of different varieties of fishing around one minute you could be nymphing the next you need to change the dry flies I carry quite a lot of gear um, and the, the other thing I like about this waistcoat is it's it's really softly padded at the top here so when you're fishing all day it doesn't wear you down like some vests I've owned in the past um, can be quite tiresome actually after a day and you're, you're, the back of your neck starts to ache even with some of the chest packs I've had uh, you get quite a bit of strain across here you don't really get that with this but that's about all I carry um, I may very occasionally take another reel in the other pouch at the back but that's it uh, I hope that's uh, some use to you and I hope uh, you like the tip about the little tippet rings that's been the gem of this video if you like thanks very much for watching please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you next time